in the Western Pacific, there is no real time when there is no typhoon season. Now, they will become less likely during the winter months, and we have had some powerful and intense storm systems. On record, there has been nine storms that have formed up and had a pressure below 970 hectopascals. Here's a look at a few of the most notable ones in no particular order. According to Digital Typhoon, there has been 31 named storms during the month of January. Typhoon Alice, out of all of them, had the lowest pressure, down to 930 hectopascals. This storm formed on New Year's Day and intensified to a Category 3 storm with winds of 205 kilometers per hour on January 7th. Alice began to weaken as it neared Guam and actually passed just towards the south of the island on January 10th. Thousands were evacuated, but in the end, no fatalities were reported and damage was relatively minimal. The second most intense typhoon on record in the month of January brought a lot more damage. This was Typhoon Roy, also known as Asheng in the Philippines, it formed on January 7th. 1988. The storm peaked with winds of 215 kilometers per hour. After peaking in intensity, Roy slightly weakened as it passed over the Marshall Islands, causing significant damage, upwards of $25 million, mainly the crop damage was reported there. Rhoda also took a hit from the storm with winds estimated of 190 kilometers per hour on that island. Roy then kept tracking towards the west and on January 16th and made landfall in the Philippines, specifically around the Bicol region in southern Luzon. Two confirmed deaths were reported from this storm. Severe Tropical Storm Michaela, also known as Among in the Philippines, is one of those storms that proves you don't need a severe typhoon to have significant impacts. Among killed three people and did cause extensive damage as it came on shore in the Philippines in mid-January. Michaela formed on January 13th and reached peak intensity on January 17th, just prior to landfall, a classic case of the Philippine Sea effect here. One of the previously mentioned deaths was a volunteer who was hit by scaffolding following a mass by Pope Francis in Tacloban, a mass that still went underway despite the threat of this landfalling severe tropical storm. Now what's notable is that mass and the reason why Pope Francis was visiting the area is because this storm took place only a month after Typhoon Hagupit wrecked the region and just after a year when Typhoon Haiyan, also known as Yolanda, hit the same area. What is a January or off-season storm that sits in your memory as well? Please let me know in the comment box down below. Also, if there's any other topics you would like me to talk about. As always, thanks for watching, and of course, stay safe out there.